In addition, we've added the ability to organize by thread. So you can follow email conversations and, dis conversations and discussions much easier. So as an example, we'll look at uh, the second message down. You'll see that it's got a three and a double chevron right there that says there's three messages inside there. And when we go in there, you'll see the three messages, the most recent one on top that hasn't been read yet. But you can follow that conversation all along with, by look, easily looking at the prior messages. They're all bundled in one place, uh, organized by thread. And open attachments, the ability to get an attachment in email, tap on it, and open it with an app from the App Store. This is really great. In this case, it's uh, OmniGraph, and I can just tap it, and it'll open with the app. So some new features in Mail. There's lots more, but the biggest ones are the unified inbox with multiple exchange accounts, fast inbox switching, threaded messages, and you can open attachments with apps. All right, so that is number three. Let's go to number four. For iPhone OS 4, we are adding iBooks. We have a great iBook reader for iPhone OS 4. This is what it looks like, the same bookshelf that we rolled out in the iPad, and the same iBookstore, online bookstore. We're really excited about this. We've had a lot of, even just since rolling it out on the iPad, we've had so many requests to bring this to the iPhone. And of course, we were doing that. And it's just a great experience for reading. Um, that's what, uh, what it looks like on the iPhone. There's Winnie the Pooh. And so we think customers will really enjoy this on their iPhone, their iPod Touch. It's a delightful ebook reader with the iBookstore, online bookstore. You can buy your books once and read them anywhere. In other words, you can buy it for the iPad and you can transfer it on to your, uh, to your iPhone or vice versa. You just have to buy it once and you can read it on any of your devices. We're going to be wirelessly syncing your current page and bookmarks between devices automatically. And just like we do on the iPad, we're going to supply a free book <laughs> And uh, we think uh, Winnie the Pooh is a good choice. You know, we, we labored over that with the iPad. What, what is the book that we could supply just to get people started uh, that, that, that we really felt great about? And, and Winnie the Pooh won. <laughs> so that is iBooks. And it is our fourth tentpole. Now I'd like to turn it back over to Scott for tentpole number five.